Every one of you watching this screen, look out. Welcome to Toon Talk, the official channel of the Australian Cartoon Museum. I'm Franz Cantor, illustrator, cartoonist and Toon Talker, and my fellow Toon Talker is... Tim Bridges, and I'm the president of the Australian Cartoon Museum. Toon Talk is about the passion of cartoons, comics and animation from Australia and the world. From vintage cartoons, to virtual reality and everything in between. Every week we show you step by step how to draw anything the easy way. We talk to the masters of cartoon art and we review cartoons and comics in all their forms. And we invite you, the viewer, to pick up a pencil and join us. So fire up your imagination and creative energy and subscribe to Toon Talk and ring the notification bell so you won't miss a single episode. You can support us on Patreon and join us for Q&As on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Welcome, Welcome to, to the Cartoon Revolution. Revolution. Ah, yes. Under the Lino. Stay tuned for Under the Lino where we're going to talk about um, Eric Jolliffe, the work of Eric Jolliffe. Now, Under the Lino, strange name, right? But it refers to... What's Lino? What's Lino, they say? Linoleum. It, ah. was, it refers to what they used to... Um, Pre-carpet. Well, it refers to actually what they used to put in kitchens. Now, under the lino, because lino is supposed to be thin, right? They don't use underfelt, they use usually newspapers. Back in the 1930s underway, underway. and 1940s, they actually used American comics. Oh. Because American comics were imported in Australia during the war, um, and they were big, you know, one-sheeters or Yeah, most of the newspapers and stuff. And of course, when you pull and up the lino... Color. Yeah, when you pull up the line, there's all these wonderful cartoons, political and comic strips and stuff, and some were in colour. Yeah. Not many, but... Unbelievable. We'll talk yeah. more about that yes. later on. So, um, that's coming up. Don't miss that. And um, let's get on with the show. Okay, so here we are. Um, this segment, we're back with... Uh, Under the Lino. Under the Lino. That's where... It's oh, all God, it's... All the cockroaches tight down in. here. Oh. Yeah. So what are we looking at here? We're looking at um, uh, what do they call a, a reprint cartoon, a countertop book by Eric Jolliffe. Yes. And it's only one shilling, which is 10, ten cents in anyone's money. Well, this, <laughs> this, was, pu this was published uh, in the 40s. Yes. And it, he went on to do a lot more. Mm -hmm. um, this, is, this is one of his calendars he did. In 1991. Yeah, he died in that. That was the last year he died, actually. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he died in 1991. So we'll have a look briefly no, at 2001 his... 2001 um, he died, 2001. We'll have a look briefly at his colour work. Yeah. And these, these were later. Yeah. Anyway, let's get well, stuck let's into it. Let's have a look it. in the 1940s. So, now, what is this? This is... These are reprints from Pix magazine, That's where he right. had Saltbush Bill, which resided there. And these that cartoons very were very interesting. Published. Before you go into the cartoons, I just want to talk about the cover. Yep. The... Um, Pix Magazine was a, a, a cheap, this this cheap magazine. This is an ad. This is an ad. What's this doing here? Super well, Star Star. Okay. This is how they sold they the printing. They paid for the printing of this magazine. They sold the back page. Yeah. So Silver Star Starch. Yeah. The best in the world, apparently. Oh, you, everybody used to start their cartoon books with this stuff. <laughs> Absolutely. So when, when the silverfish were finished eating the, the starch, of course, they could they could devour the books. So um, this is what they call a duotone, which means that there's two color plates. There's a black plate and a red plate. Um, in this case, it is a red plate. It's not cyan. So it's not full color. It's a spot color it's with a carrot, black. a carrot top there. And typically, Jolliffe would make um, a plate in black ink where all of the red has to be, and that would be printed red over the top of the black um, uh, half-tone uh, um, uh, print of the uh, of the artwork. Okay, so without further ado, well, hang Jim, on. Us that's into salt, the, that there is saltbush bill with a and, pipe and a yeah, hat, and he was a, a, a farmer who lived on the bush, yep. and they did it all tough. Right. And most of the gags are all about how tough it was to yep. live in, in the bush in those days. So these are like, um, he, he, um, and all the stuff Jolliffe is... drew from life. He drew, he did, yes. He drew farms, he used to travel around drawing yes. things. So everything has an integrity, right? This trough where the, the pig sty. Handmade. 
Yeah, it's just nailed together with four or five nails. Um, yeah. You know, the gum tree where you see it, you know, being eroded away by uh, sun and, and uh, flood or whatever. Um, the barbed wire. Yeah, actually know. one of the best things about looking at his cartoon was looking at the details. The little details and yeah. even in Saltbush himself, you know. Yeah. The expression, the side lighting, all of this stuff sort of very evocative and, yeah. you know, beautiful. Look at the little characters of the piggies. Yeah. The little pig's bums, full of character. Uh, kind well, of look like politicians, each pigs, one of pigs them. Pig's bums are full of um, character, yes. Yeah. Yes. Well, what I'm trying to say is like it very, very well. And this researched. is signed, Best Wishes, Eric Joll. Yes, this is from the collection of um, Ian, Ian McCall. McCall. That's right. So he's got quite a big collection. So we'll start off with this cartoon, so, which is, hello, trust Jackie to turn up when there's a cup of tea on. Here they are over here making the tea, and of course the horse is out of control. And in those days, they made like a sled. Put the water in? Yeah, and they're, they're, they're pulling the sled. They didn't, couldn't afford um, wagons and all that sort of stuff. They yeah. had a wagon. But look how he's, do, he's drawn the horse here. Yeah. Beautifully, beautifully done. The, the look at the musculature in this horse. But, you can tell look, what type of horse it is. Yeah, but look look where those front hoofs are as opposed to back hoofs. Yeah. Well, and it's the, more uh, like a dog run, really, isn't it? Yeah. So it's to sort of heighten the fact that it's playing. And it's very playful. And this is how they did ruse. Yeah. It even had a wooden chimney. So if you wanted to research how you build log cabins yes. or, or Eric with Jolliff, porches, Eric, Eric you could man. just do this. Yep. Just read this. And this is a gag um, about someone staying the night. He's a vicar. And see how the bed's been made, just... An A-frame. Yep, yeah. A-frame. And it's, he's... But still Ikea. <laughs> and look, there's a horse's uh, collar. There's a horse's collar. And, and look at that horses beautiful... Look at that today. beautiful uh, curtain. And, yeah. and the cowbell. Cowbell? Yeah, and... and I don't know what that is. A notice uh, to your victim. Anyway, so this is... Um, and that, that looks like it's an old... Um, Flower bag. Flower bag with the knot. The yeah, and he's taken his shoe off knotted. and Saltbush has come in and he's saying, better take this to bed with you. You'll find the skeeters are a bit fierce, Parson. <laughs> so you hit him with the... Oh, he's a parson. He's a parson, right. yes. So yeah, you hit the, the skeeters, are they mosquitoes? No. So, no mosquitoes? Mosquitoes. Mosquitoes. But they're so big, you, you had to hit them with, with, with a stick. Yeah. And of course, he's really impressed. Yeah. So a lot of incredible um, authentic details in, in there nothing sort of made up yes and uh, you know, there's, there's another there's gag experience in here the salt wish is talking to his kids saying don't mm. waste too much time picking up their mulligan kids or you'll be late for school yeah, yeah. there's already one two there's already four kids on the horse right so you've not much room for more that's more. right so i guess the gag is that they used to drive ride to school and fit yeah. as many kids on like a school bus um, yeah, like that, that was horse. the school bus because most kids walked in those days. No one had shoes. Yeah. And look at all the big stones on top but of again, the But again, look at the authenticity of the details in the background. You know, yeah. the, um, the old bits and pieces, the, the, yeah. the wagon wheel, yeah. the look. wagon of the chooks. And this you know, is the water feeding. bag. This is the water bag hanging up. So right, with a water in, jug. In the shade. And there, there's a, a freshly skinned sheepskin. Nailed to the wall there, drawing out. Other little bits and pieces that he puts in there, it gives it all authenticity. What it is, is when you talk about cartoons having, you know, displaying truth, that's what it is, it's truth in the details. It's yeah. the storytelling method of this man. And here it's they are. Really, they're, really genius. They're, they're, they're running the, the sheep through the sheep dip. Yeah. And he's saying to his wife, who's got all her hands, she's carrying the billy. Yeah. And, What's uh, a billy? It's a, a billy is what you boil water bucket. in to make cup of teas. So, it's got a lid on it. Right. Um, when we dip the sheep, we'll run the kid through, seeing that the ticks are bad. Yeah. So the kids have ticks, so they're going to run the kids through the sheep dip as well. Yeah, there are the kids with yeah. the sheep. They're running yeah. around with the yeah. sheep, scaring them through the through the fence. Yeah. Here's a uh, farm hand with a, with a looks like a cob pipe or yeah. something. An Aboriginal farm hand, and yep. he's always called so, Jackie. Jackie. Which so, is, just shows you how things have changed. Okay. Yeah, so I guess this is like very evocative, like in the same way that uh, looking at Tom Sawyer um, uh, paintings by um, uh, Norman Rockwell are very evocative of details of yeah. this, the story and of, of the time. And of its time. And of its time. Yeah. And here's just a gag about kids hiding. They're hiding, and he's he's going around um, getting all the all the um, the, uh, the the wheat. Mm. Um, and and see the kids are caught up in it. 
So if you were to research which is the dangerous because the, these of the kids 1940s, were, yeah. this, this would be a fantastic start for you because yeah. you wouldn't get this level of detail no. in photographs. No. And plus, I mean, well, it's a gag because they'd be killed. There's yeah. got all sorts of machine, and there's the old, you know, and the, he's got three horses running it. It's a horse-drawn um, thing. It's not a, it's not a machine. Yeah. And here they are, Merry Christmas. They've actually got a parson here with those wonderful curtains again. With a with a Hitler or Blakey mustache. Yeah, and this is this is the wooden chimney made yeah. of wood. And she's getting the tea. There's the there's the Billy being boiled. Right. And um, there's a gun over there, of course. And the kids she's are all sitting boots. there. I guess it's, there's an earthen floor. Yes. And um, and the gag is, hey mother. He's, that's what he calls his wife. Look, you got the good luck charm. And instead of, of a horseshoe. Yeah, instead of a little, it's a real instead horseshoe. Instead of a wishbone, there's a there's Well, it's a, a real horseshoe. And right. It's huge, you know. Did you want to uh, show this one? It's here? a Merry Christmas. You've got a thing here. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, actually, that's an earlier one. There's an earlier one? Yeah, because, sorry you changed your mind about staying to lunch, Parson, seeing we're especially avid poultry. Mem emus. Emus. Right. The poultry. And look, there's the old... The grinding. The, the, the kids are actually have to turn it. Ah. And he's sharpening so it's up. It's not the even thing. a pedal one. No. And see, the kids got all the flies around. Yeah, even in the Bugs Bunny show, I think they had a pedal one. Yeah. And oh, you they, want to show this one first? This is funny. This is funny. So let's get it into the shot. I want you to see that. Let Sammy be our found cousin Welly. Well, Sammy is the name of their pet snake. <laughs> and and one of pet the kids. Snake. Yeah, what they call Sammy. And one of their. It's a rat catcher. Yeah. And one, one of the kids, sorry, one of the kids is missing. Yeah. So they think... They thought that, the snake ate and him. And she's just about to chop its head off. Yeah. He, oh, hang on. Yeah, I've found him. Yeah. But look at the authenticity. Look at the horse in the yeah. background. Look at the shed. And look, corrugated iron. Corrugated must iron. must be wealthy. You know, with, yeah. the, with turned up bits and, and, and the, the character of the trees. All the little and kids things. holding this great big python. Yeah. So yeah. This is how you would describe something being lovingly done. So not only is he uh, attempting to be funny with a joke, but the way that he's described the bush has an authenticity about it. So there's a truth in, in you know, the, the way that he's depicted them. Well, here, here they're chopping down this huge great tree and this guy's caught underneath it and he says, don't say you busted another axe handle. And yeah. that's all he's worried about. The guy's... Yeah. Yeah, because he's underneath the, the tree. Yeah, you can see where the axe is broken there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, a reality check for sure. And we're back inside. This is the tree joke again. And it says, don't tell me you busted that blasted axe handle again because the wife has to drag the whole bit of wood in mm. to put it on the fire because she, she can't find the axe. That's right. And here she is carrying a huge uh, log. So, this is a running she, gag. Yeah, yeah. And there's the there's the wooden um, and the kids are sitting there doing their homework. Look, right. No shoes, of course. Yeah. Yeah. So there's there's another gag how he's used it. And here's another one about the kids going to school. Yep. Sorry, Let's can't give. The of the... Sorry, sorry, we can't give yous a lift, but we're not allowed to pick up strangers. Mm. These they, they're um, swaggies, mm. and th these are called blueies. And, and there's the, 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 that's their thing they sleep on. They roll it up, put it on their back, and that's their their um, their um, kettle, their uh, what, Billy Billy tea for the Billy tea. Right. Okay. Which, is, which was also a brand. Yes, Billy tea. And here's um, another one uh, about the kids and the horses. The four of them flies yeah. everywhere, yeah. but they've got a a huge great um, anchor anchor because he bolted with us yesterday, Pop. Mm. And the dog's jumping up, and flies everywhere. Just... Look at the caricature of the horse. Yeah. You know, not so much of the dog, um, strangely enough. No, no. The dogs look very uh, simple and stylized. Well, yes. And here's the kids on is. the horse again. Yeah. We'll keep, we'll keep, so here's mum and dad on the side of a, obviously a swollen yeah. creek. Yeah. And there's a house going down the creek. It's a real flood. We'll keep them home from school tomorrow. Get the creeks running faster, just as well to play it safe. Mm. So it was a dangerous place and pretty hard going, but they make jokes of it all the time. And yeah, so, the, so you live the with kids disaster. are fishing. The kids are fishing. Yeah. And this kid's got a Shanghai. He's yeah. after he's, Shanghai, there's a snake. That's a... There's a snake up a tree. Yeah. Yeah, and if we'll pull slingshot, this, slingshot. Yeah, we'll pull this over. 
Yeah, and getting back to Sammy again. So oh, he is a rat catcher. You've got a visitor rats. here, yeah. Yeah, good. And it's hanging from the roof. That's Sammy, our pet rat catcher. He seems to think he knows you. <laughs> a rat. Yeah, that's right. There's the gag, yeah. And he's probably some guy coming from the bank or something. Oh, okay. A revenuer. Yeah, and I'll we'll just pull this one over here. Tax man. Yeah, here's the, here's the, here's the bed, beds again made of the A-frames. And the cow Regular comes, an the cow bed. sticks its head through the window and licks you up. Mm. I yeah. guess the cow wants something, wants to be milked. Yeah, that's right. And they get milked about Green acres five o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Yeah, and, and that's the only source of light. Yes. And of course, the, you uh, always have a horse collar hanging up because you never know when you need them in the bedroom. The oil lantern. Yes. Yeah, kerosene lantern. Use kerosene in that. Mm-hmm. And here's another. That keeps the mozzies away, I think. Yeah, here's another joke about the horses and the kids. Yeah. And they've got an anchor. Anchor. And they toss the calic in. The calic. I don't know what that means. Charlie, we're time and a half hours fishing before school. So. Oh, one of the pictures fell down in the gallery. Yep. And here he is shearing. And he's saying, just get my hand in before I start on them prize rams. So he practices on the kids first. <laughs> they all, and look, they all end up with... With moustaches. Well, look, they've got scratches and everything. He's taken all, all the right. hair off. And the kid, the dog's looking at him, you know. Get a bit of tar on there. Yeah, and she's nice. always carrying that parcel and the billy. And she's got cups because she brought the cups in for, uh, for their afternoon tea. Yeah. And here's another typical gag. Knock off. Ball. Yeah, knock off, boys. Here comes the morning tea. Right. And he's getting chased by a bull. It's all nonchalant. Yeah. So it's life in, in the, the bush. face of danger. In the face of danger. Making light of danger, making light of uh, yeah. you know the dangerous situations. Yeah. And, and speaking of dangerous situations, there they are. Fire. And there's a fire on top. Yeah. And Jackie, who's the Aboriginal helper. Yeah. Um, Salt books is saying, stay, stay here, here, Jackie. We'll hand you up a few buckets of water. Yeah. And they're just, they seem, he's running, but they're taking their time. And of course, he's not doing anything. He's in charge. Yeah. And of course, all I have to do is throw some of that stuff down. But that's, then you lose your gag, don't you? Yeah. yeah. And what's this one? Yeah, well, this is during, this is just after the war. So, and he's saying, she's got a catapult, which is the, what do you call them? It's called a slingshot. In America, but we call yeah. it a shango in Australia. Yeah. So they're saying, move up and let Alfie be tail end Charlie. He's got the catapult. In yeah. other words, because of the, the, the gunners, the gunners during the Second World War. You know? So look at the mum here chopping wood. Yeah, the doing poor all the old work. mum chopping yeah. that wood. Look at that. Pose. And she looks like she's fifty. Fantastic. She looks That's... like she's fifty. Oh, you want to do a close up? Zoom in on that pose. That pose is a corker. Have a look at that, folks. Can you draw that? That's brilliant. Look at the way she's swinging that axe. Yeah, her. and she's over 50. Yeah, but that's a really beautiful... So these are like caricatures in a way. They're really um, beautiful um, well, very historical folksy. documents, yes, of Very folksy. And here's... Very folksy. There's always these accidents happening. And so they're rushing downhill. Mm, and a beautiful horse. And he's got the brake. He thinks he's got the brakes on. He can't even see the horse. The horse yeah, is actually horse is dragging behind, behind him. him. Don't seem no use trying to pull him up once he takes it into his head to bolt. Yeah, they're they not think, bolting at all. Yeah, they're, they're, they're falling. But, but I, I think the great thing about that gag is the way the horses mm. are beautifully drawn. Yeah. And it's, you know, oh, they're going to end up dead for sure. It happens in all the... Well, not in the cartoon. But yeah, but, yeah. And so, here he is, here he is taking a break. He's lighting his pipe, resting, while he chops out the little corner because he's replacing the stump. And he's got Jackie holding it up from, that's the water tank, obviously full of water, because yeah. that's dry. This pot doesn't look very happy. No, he's under a look, incredible strain, because there's the old rotten one. Look at that gum tree. Yeah, but then Beautiful. he says, it's pretty hot out here in the sun, Jackie, and Jackie's actually struggling here in the shade, because he's lifting all that weight. Yeah. And this is, uh, they're having a party, Happy New Year. Swallow it, man, don't waste the blasted stuff. Yeah. And that's obviously alcohol. So the tapping the keg, yeah. the kegs used to be um, wood, yeah. like in very old days, pirate days, I guess. Yeah. Uh, triple X, I don't know what that means. Just means Well, it means alcohol. Brand. It means Does alcohol, it? that's what it means. Yeah, right. it's, it's cartoon for alcohol. Is it? Okay. Yeah, and there's a, there's a squeeze box and the music. The, they've got one lamp 
and they're obviously and, seam layer. and, yeah. the, and he's, he's sitting in the the, the wool Sheep basket, basket, the wool so, basket. So they're in the in the shearing shed. Oh, okay. And just the last cartoon, which is um, they're walking at night, and um, he's just walking along, and Jackie's carrying the lantern, and uh, they've got look, what is it? It's wood, is it? They've been collecting wood, and it says, "Sing out if you want to spell with the lamp, Jackie." Yeah. So he's so, offering to hold the lamp, not yeah, the big load. that's right. And of course, that's he's not gap. not very happy. And look at the and bunny you've got the here. rabbits all running away, and there's the rabbit traps. Yeah, look, they're looking at the trap. Yeah, they're looking at the light because it's night time. And there's a rabbit disappearing into the hole in the yeah. stump. Yeah, yeah. And so and, let's have a look at this. Let's, let's, just, just a quick thing. Oh, the ad. Yeah. You want to look at the ad? Look at the ad. Jutex, right? Yeah. Jutex products, whatever that is. Haystacks, <laughs> sarking, wall covering, any size bag made to measure. So, in other words, they're saying, um, okay, who reads this magazine? People on the land. That's right, correct. The same. So there you are, Saltbush Bill. That's um, end of the line. Let's have a quick look at Jellif's and, and, um, you know, color calendar. Years later, like this in 1991, because this was the previous book was done in the 40s. Yeah. Yeah. So this is their Saltbush Bill. He looks a bit younger there. Yeah. And so does she. Don't know what happened, must have been one of those dizzy spells. Mm. But there's this great big um, tornado that's gone off, ripping the up Willy the Willy. fence. Yeah, ripping up the fence. Yeah. So let's get into the colour work. Okay, so as with the pen work before, yeah. um, I should actually uh, mention to you, um, this is uh, watercolour, believe it or not, it's pen and watercolour. And um, have a look at this uh, years later. Again, this is pen and watercolour. This time it's colour, watercolour yeah. rather than Indian ink. And she's obviously just started to learn how to fish. And look at the size of the fish she's catching. And of course, he hasn't caught any. And she says, I think I've got the hang of it now. Mm. And there's always extremes about the bush. Yeah, so what's important here is the way that he's depicted the bush. You can yeah. see all of the details. Yeah. You know, everything he's researched over the years, he knows about the bush, he knows what... Yes, there's always dead bits in the tree. Yeah, he knows what the twists and turns yeah. of the gum tree... Um, and he's... Limbs are. And, and Saltbush is saying, fetch him out in the open before he injures himself. And of course, he's the one getting injured. Mm. Look at his head and his... Oh, look at that horse. Yeah, beautiful Let's drawing. have a close-up of that. Look at that horse. Look at the action there. That is magnificent. He knew his horses. Yeah. Really loved his horses. And the dogs, he put a little bit more work into the dogs. Yeah. So you can see the dogs have a little bit more character. So and these are lovely, the, the compositions of these. They're like, yeah. um, they're like the best landscape paintings. And look at the fen old fence that's fallen down. Where your eyes go like a tippy toe through yeah. the painting. And that's a brand into new ladder. Where the look, that's is. a brand new ladder, that, you know. It's yeah. about the only brand new thing in all the book. Yeah. And here they are. This is this the swaggies. Yeah. Because here over are. here is the house, and they're, they're just look at, look at the stream of smoke yeah, that's just blazing up. So there's not a breeze in the air. Yeah. And look at the the campfire there. Yeah. The swaggies are actually underneath the, the haystack. Haystack. And the gag is there's a bedroll and yeah. And the gag is there's a rabbit. Looking now on. I'm all tucked in. Do you mind pulling out the props and lowering the haystack so they're going to bed? Oh, he's going to he's going to lower the haystack yeah, over the top like that's right. Yeah. And here's there's a there's a there's a, 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 a cow down a well, and the gag is, if it ain't your cow, boss, shall I drop her back? Yeah. So that, that it's not worth the effort, I guess, if yeah. it's not your cow. That's right. It's not your cow. Oh. And there's a lot of violence to animals in some oh, of these. Oh, there's a lovely, there's a lovely dog. Yeah. And a look, this 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 is, is that a, a rabbit that's in a, pants. That's a, it does look like that, but it's dead. Is it? It's a dead rabbit. Okay, it looks like a rabbit. And look, here, here's the here's the, the trap here. Yeah. With and there's something here. <laughs> yeah, we don't Nobody know. knows what that well, is. Well, he's got his Half legs here. And uh, and see this little thing at the... These were famous because these were at the back door and you put your foot on that and, and caught and dragged all the mud off it. I forget yeah. what it's called. But here's his salesman selling her an electric broom. Electric broom. Look at that gag. Yeah. And he says to her, and when the electricity comes through, yeah. in other words. There's no electricity. Yeah. We're just living in hobbles. Yeah. So these are pretty good. Um, let's go into the, uh, the characters change a little bit too. But yeah. the, the the horses and the animals, the bulls, uh, the bulls and the horses, horses in particular, yeah. were magnificent. Yeah. Um, and here's a fire. There's a fire. Which is pretty common. So there's always disasters happening. And of course, one of the guys is running away. He's 
because like echidna, yeah, snake, all the, it, it, goanna. And, yeah, they're all running away. And look, here's the koala with the baby on the back. Spiny. They're all running away from the fire. And of course, this guy's jumped on the back of a, uh, a kangaroo like and he exactly. says, don't quit now, Smedley, or you'll never forgive yourself. Yeah. And that's how they fought fires, with, with broom-like things with, with, with bags on the end of them. Bags on the end of them. Yeah, good. And this is just a gag about she's wearing a fox, a fox. Fox is and the house. dog the dog doesn't yeah. recognise it. Yeah, but again, you get all these little yeah. things in the background that make yeah. it worthwhile. And here's the bark look court. The, yeah, look you know, at this the bark stringy that's... bark. This is stringy yeah. bark. Yeah. So a stringy bark falls down in big strips like this. Yeah, dumb dog does remember a fox fur I've been wearing for ages. Yeah. yeah. And of course, there's all those sausages. All the shopping. Yeah. yeah. So another a gag with a hay bale, yeah, and of hay course, wane or whatever Yeah, and he throws it, it so high, he says, another lunar probe, Mullen. So it's obviously things have moved on. So this is the 90s. Yeah, that's right. And another out of control horse. Don't just sit there, lift your leg back over the shaft. Yeah. <laughs> Which is almost impossible to do. And look, look, look at the wood getting bent. Mm. So he really knows how to draw horses. I'm, he um, does. Actually, I, I think that his uh, early work of the of the people a little bit better. These yeah, are, he's in. Know, these are rushed. Shorthand. These are rushed. Yeah. These, and this um, is just a gag about, um, you know, hey mum, what now? I mean, it's just an excuse to put a koala in it. I think. Yeah, very cartoony. Yeah. Very cartoony koala. Less characterization than this. Um, yeah. You know this sort of thing. Well, he's, look at those beautiful. He's, there's a lot of shorthand characters. in this book, in in the, in the new book. Yeah. So I prefer the old stuff, of course, under the lino, yeah. that's what it's about. And, and he also, this is an ad for a book he did on crocodiles. Crocodiles. And there's well, that's this, a beautiful crocodile, but yeah, but unfortunately look, he's running like a, like a dog. Like a dog. Yeah. And of course he's got this guy with his leg in it and the dog's mm. the Aboriginal Beating bashing him, him over the head. Yeah. yeah. All right, so that's what we have for you under the lino. Saltbush Bill, uh, cartoon fun on the farm by Jolliffe. Okay, and we'll have to get some real lino and lift it up, and but it's hard to get the lino, you know. We'll get some fake cockroaches, okay. so I don't worry too much. About oh, and that. just a little bit about him. Yeah. He um, he was born in in 1907, and, uh, uh, and when he did died, he die? He died in 2001, so he oh. was 94. Right. And he didn't actually take up drawing. When he finally went to art school, all the teachers said he was terrible and he'd never make a quid. Well, what do you think, folks? Do you think yeah. he's terrible and never made a quid? I reckon he's brilliant. This, yeah. you know, the caricature, the, the amount of detail, the fun that he had in depicting the bush just says it all. Yeah. All for a shilling. Okay. All right. Bye-bye.